So, welcome to this question. Uh, KCSC Mathematics 1989 paper 1, question number 22. It is on quadratic uh, graphs. Uh, and we are told to use a grid below uh, to draw the graph of y is equals to minus 2x squared plus x plus 8 for the values of x between minus 3 and 4. Part B from the graph find the roots of minus 2x squared plus x plus 8 is equals to 0 and C by drawing a suitable graph a suitable straight line graph on the same axis find the roots of minus 2x squared plus 4x plus 12 is equals to 0 so we are going to do this question in sections and I will start by with section A where I'm going to draw the graph of y is equals to minus 2x squared plus x plus 8. So let's do that. So part A, we are going to insert a table that is going to help us to draw the graph of y is equals to 2x squared plus x plus 8. Uh, so let's insert that table. So this is a table that I'm going to use and uh, we start with the value of x so we have our x there x we are told it uh, we should uh, it should be in between minus 3 and 4 so we will start with minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 and 4 uh, then we have uh, our minus 2x squared so here we have minus 2x squared uh, we have so x squared this is 9 and uh, times uh, minus 2 that will give us minus 18 then you have minus 8 that is 2 squared minus 2 squared is 4 times 2 minus 2 then we have minus 2 we have 0 then here we have minus 2 we have minus 8 we have minus 18 and we have minus 30, uh, 32. Then we have our value of x. Uh, our value of x we have, uh, x is, we just insert uh, the values up there. So here x is minus 3, so it is minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 8 is a constant, so we just uh, put 8. Uh, in some books, you find that they don't insert this uh, constant, but uh, I find it important because sometimes you forget to add up with a constant. So I normally recommend that uh, you put it there. Then finally, we have our function y. So our function will be minus 18 plus minus 3 that would be minus 21 minus 21 plus 8 that give us minus 13 uh, here we have 8 minus 2 minus 8 minus 2 that is minus 10 uh, minus plus 8 that will give us minus 2 here we have uh, minus 2 plus minus 1 that's minus 3 plus 8 that will give us positive 5 then here 0, 0 and 8 here it is minus 2 those minus 1 uh, this will give us 7 then here we have minus 8 plus 2 that is minus 6 minus 6 plus 8 that give us 2 uh, then we have minus 18 uh, that is minus 15 minus 15 plus 8 that is minus 7 and uh, finally we have 32 that is minus 28 we have plus 8 that is minus 20 so these are the values that we are going to use to plot our our quadratic graph and then we'll be able to answer the rest of the questions so this is a grid that i'm going to use and uh, let me s s use that point uh, th this point to to be my starting point so deal so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 
always remember to label your axis. Uh, so this is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Uh, then our y axis, I use a different scale. So this is 5, uh, this is 10, and this is my y axis. So this is minus 5, minus 10, uh, minus uh, 15, and minus 20. Uh, from there, we insert or we put our values of x, uh, of y, given the x value. So when x is minus 3, y is minus 13. So this is uh, y, x is equals minus 3, minus 13. So this is uh, 1, 2, so 13 should be somewhere there. Uh, we are using two small squares to represent one, so that is one, two, and three. Then when x is minus two, y is minus two. When x is uh, minus two, y is minus two. So that is where we have our x axis, our y, y axis. When x is minus one, uh, y is five. X is zero, y is eight. So one. 2, 3, 8, there. Yeah. When x is, uh, when x is uh, 1, y is 7. So y is 7, we have it uh, there. Then when x is 2, y is 2, so we have it uh, uh, there. When x is 3, y is minus 7, so minus 7 is there. When x is minus 4, y is minus 20. Uh, so those are the points that we need to plot our graph. So let's go ahead and using your free hand, you plot the graph of this fine. So this is a graph that I have come up with. Remember I've said you use your free hand uh, to draw the graph, don't use a ruler. And always remember to label your graph. So this is y is equals to uh, minus 2x squared then plus x plus 8 so that is a function uh, so having done that then we go ahead and answer the second question uh, which we are told to from the graph uh, find the roots of minus so we find we are required to find the roots of minus 2x squared plus x plus 8 is equals to 0 the roots so remember uh, now this becomes an equation uh, and uh, to get the roots of the equation uh, then we need to get the values of the points where the graph cuts the x-axis so our points here are that point and this point so the roots there we can read uh, that is minus 1.7 1.7 and the other one is uh, my uh, 2.5 around 2.25 so the roots are x is equals to so we read this point uh, so that is uh, uh, 1.7 minus and the other one or the other one is uh, this other point where the graph cuts the x-axis, which is about 2.25, 2.25. So those are the roots of the, the final of, of the equation uh, minus 2x squared uh, plus x plus 8. Then we move to the next question. Uh, so the final part, part C, we are told by drawing a suitable graph. Uh, or we are, we are given minus 2x squared plus 4x uh, plus 12 uh, is equals to 0. So we can say that uh, since we have our function, we have uh, minus 2x squared plus x and then plus 8 uh, is equals to y. This is what we have drawn, the graph of uh, this function here. So we can uh, subtract uh, the first uh, function uh, from the second. So we say minus 2x squared minus minus 2x squared, that will be 0. 
4x minus um, x that is 3x uh, then 12 minus 8 it is uh, this will give us 4 is equals to 0 minus y is minus y we can write this by multiplying throughout by minus 1 so th that we have uh, y is positive so you have uh, y you have uh, y is equals to y is equals to minus 3x and then my minus 4 so that is a function we should uh, plot this graph and see where where, where they, they cross with our uh, quadratic graph so we can make a simple table so we have our x here this is our y and we say when x is 0 uh, we substitute here y is minus 4 and then we have when x is 1 this will be minus 3 times 1 that is minus 3 minus 4 is minus 7 and when x is 2 this is uh, minus this is minus 6 minus 4 that will give us minus 10 we need a maximum of 3 point since this one is a linear graph so we now plot the graph of y is equals to uh, 3x minus 4 and see how it looks like so we identify this point when x is 0 uh, y is minus 4 so this is where we have minus 4 higher when x is 1 y is minus 7 so this is where we have minus 7 and when x is 2 y is minus 10 so that is where we have a minus 10 so we join these three points and we come up with the linear graph of y is equals to minus 3x minus so this is a graph that you get uh, and uh, you always remember to label your graph so this is the graph of y is equals to minus 3x minus 4 and uh, since we are required to solve this uh, equation we read the point where the graph cuts each other that is where the quadratic graph cuts with the linear graph and this point uh, this is around 1.6 so x is equals to uh, x is equals to uh, minus 1.6 or uh, the other point is around 3 point around 3.6 3.6 so that is how you work out that question and uh, it, it, it is really taken has some time but it is worth since you earn yourself 10 marks in our current uh, max uh, setup so that is the end of that question uh, i look forward to meeting you in another question uh, similar to this so thank you for watching